In the years leading up to the American Revolution, the seeds of democracy were sown amidst a backdrop of colonial discontent and resistance against British rule. Central to this transformative period were concepts like mercantilism, boycotts, repeal, delegates, and the ultimate quest for independence. Let's explore how these elements contributed to the birth of a democratic nation. In the 18th century, Great Britain pursued a policy known as mercantilism, an economic doctrine that viewed colonies primarily as sources of raw materials and markets for finished goods, all for the benefit of the mother country. Under this system, the British government implemented various regulations and trade restrictions aimed at maximizing its own wealth and power. One of the most significant manifestations of mercantilist policies was the series of navigation acts passed between 1651 and 1775. These laws aimed to regulate colonial trade and ensure that the bulk of commerce benefited British merchants and shipping interests. For example, the Navigation Acts required that certain goods exported from the colonies be transported only on British ships, even if cheaper alternatives were available from other countries. This not only limited the colony's economic opportunities, but also stifled competition and innovation. Furthermore, the British Parliament imposed a series of taxes and duties on the colonies to finance the costs of defending and administering the empire. The Stamp Act of 1765, for instance, mandated that many printed materials in the colonies, such as newspapers, legal documents, and playing cards, bear a stamp purchased from British authorities. The revenue generated from these stamps was intended to help cover the expenses of maintaining British troops stationed in North America. Similarly, the Townshend Acts of 1767 imposed duties on imported goods like tea, glass, and paper, further burdening the colonists with additional taxes. These measures provoked widespread resentment and resistance among the colonists, who felt that they were being unfairly exploited and denied their rights as British subjects. Colonists argued that they should enjoy the same liberties and privileges as their fellow citizens in Britain including representation in the decision-making process that affected their lives. The rallying cry of no taxation without representation encapsulated their demand for a voice in the laws that governed them. In response to these grievances, the colonists organized boycotts of British goods and engaged in acts of civil disobedience to protest against unjust taxation and infringements on their rights. Groups like the Sons of Liberty led by figures such as Samuel Adams and John Hancock, played a pivotal role in mobilizing opposition to British policies and galvanizing public support for resistance efforts. As tensions between the American colonies and Great Britain reached a boiling point, the quest for independence became an increasingly urgent and compelling goal for many colonial leaders and ordinary citizens alike. The road to independence was marked by a series of pivotal events and influential figures who played key roles in shaping the course of American history. Recognizing the need for coordinated action against British tyranny, colonial leaders convened in gatherings such as the First and Second Continental Congresses. These assemblies brought together delegates from the 13 colonies to discuss common grievances, coordinate resistance efforts, and articulate a unified vision for the future. Notable figures, such as John Adams, Benjamin Franklin, and Thomas Jefferson, emerged as influential voices within these Congresses, advocating for the rights of the colonies and laying the groundwork for independence. Despite representing diverse interests and viewpoints, the delegates shared a common commitment to challenging British authority and defending the principles of self-governance and representation. Through spirited debates and collaborative decision-making, they sought to forge a path forward that would safeguard the liberties and freedoms of the American people. Amidst mounting tensions with Great Britain, calls for independence gained traction among colonial leaders and the general populace. Influential pamphleteers and writers, such as Thomas Paine, played a crucial role in galvanizing public opinion in favor of breaking ties with the British crown. Paine's seminal work, Common Sense, 
published in January 1776, made a compelling case for independence, arguing that it was both morally and politically imperative for the colonies to sever their allegiance to King George III and establish their own sovereign nation. The publication of Common Sense sparked widespread debate and discussion throughout the colonies, igniting a groundswell of support for independence among ordinary citizens. Paine's eloquent prose and impassioned rhetoric resonated with many colonists who were inspired by his vision of a future founded on the principles of liberty, equality, and self-determination. On July 4, 1776, the Continental Congress formally declared the independence of the 13 colonies through the adoption of the Declaration of Independence. Drafted primarily by Thomas Jefferson, with input from fellow committee members John Adams, Benjamin Franklin, Roger Sherman, and Robert Livingston, the Declaration served as a historic assertion of the colony's right to self-government and a bold repudiation of British tyranny. In its stirring preamble, the Declaration proclaimed that all men are created equal and endowed with certain unalienable rights, including life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. It went on to enumerate a litany of grievances against King George III, accusing him of imposing oppressive laws, violating colonial rights, and waging war against the colonies without just cause. The Declaration of Independence not only declared the birth of a new nation, but also symbolized the triumph of human aspiration over tyranny and oppression. Its principles of liberty and self-determination continue to resonate throughout the annals of American history, serving as a beacon of hope and inspiration for generations to come. The Declaration of Independence from British rule marked the beginning of a monumental endeavor to build a democratic nation founded on the principles of liberty, equality, and self-governance. In the aftermath of independence, the fledgling United States faced a myriad of challenges as it sought to establish a government that would safeguard individual freedoms and promote the common good. The Declaration of Independence unleashed a wave of political, social, and economic transformations throughout the newly liberated colonies. With the shackles of British tyranny cast off, the American people embarked on a journey of self-discovery and self-determination, charting a course towards a more inclusive and equitable society. The end of British rule also heralded the dawn of a new era of experimentation and innovation in governance. Free from the constraints of monarchy, the American colonies were afforded the opportunity to craft their own systems of government based on the principles of popular sovereignty and the consent of the governed. At the heart of the American experiment lay a profound commitment to democratic ideals and constitutional governance. The framers of the United States Constitution, convened in Philadelphia in 1787, sought to establish a framework that would strike a delicate balance between liberty and order, ensuring that the rights of individuals were protected while also preserving the stability and integrity of the nation. The Constitution, ratified in 1788, established a federal system of government with a separation of powers among the legislative, executive, and judicial branches. Through a series of checks and balances, each branch of government was empowered to hold the others in check, preventing any one branch from accruing too much power and ensuring that the interests of the American people were safeguarded. In addition to the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, ratified in 1791, further enshrined the principles of individual liberty and due process. These first ten amendments guaranteed fundamental rights such as freedom of speech, religion, and assembly, as well as protections against unreasonable searches and seizures and cruel and unusual punishment. The legacy of the American Revolution and the establishment of a democratic nation reverberates throughout the annals of history, serving as a beacon of hope and inspiration for people around the world. The principles of liberty, equality, and self-governance embodied in the Declaration of Independence and the United States Constitution continue to resonate across generations, 
inspiring movements for freedom and democracy in every corner of the globe.